Chapter 33. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt with their names under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord, and these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Ramses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month, on the morrow after the Passover the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them, upon their gods also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramses and pitched in Succoth. And they departed from Succoth and pitched in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham and turned again unto Pihahiroth, which is before Baal Zephon, and they pitched before Migdal. And they departed from before Pihahiroth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara and came unto Elim, and in Elim were twelve fountains of water and threescore and ten palm trees, and they pitched there. And they removed from Elim, and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped in Dovka. And they departed from Dovka, and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush, and encamped in Rephidim, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim, and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai, and pitched at Kibroth Hata'ava. And they departed from Kibroth Katava, and encamped in Hazaroth. And they departed from Hazaroth, and pitched in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma, and pitched in Rimon Perez. And they departed from Rimon Perez, and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna, and pitched in Risa. And they journeyed from Risa, and pitched in Kiheletha. And they went from Keheletha and pitched in Mount Shefer. And they removed from Mount Shefer and camped in Hareda. And they removed from Hareda and pitched in Macheloth. And they removed from Macheloth and encamped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara and pitched at Mithka. And they went from Mithka and pitched at Hashmona. And they departed from Hashmona and encamped at Moseroth. And they departed from Moseroth, and pitched at bene Jeakan. And they removed from bene Jeakan and encamped at Horhagidgad. And went from Horhagidgad, and pitched at Jotbatha. And they removed from Jotbatha, and encamped at Ebrona. And they departed from Ebrona, and camped at Ezion-Geber. And they removed from Ezion-Geber, and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh, and pitched in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord, and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was an hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched at Zalmanah. And they departed from Zalmanah and pitched in Punan. And they departed from Punan and pitched at Oboth. And they departed from Oboth, and pitched at Ejeabarim, in the border of Moab. And they departed from Eim, and pitched in Dibongad. And they removed from Dibongad, and encamped in Almon Diblathaim. And they removed from Almon Diblathaim, and pitched in the mountains of Abarim, before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abarim, and pitched in the plains of Moab by Jordan, near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan, from Beth Jeshemoth, even unto Abel Shittim, in the plains of Moab. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab, by Jordan, near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. And ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families, and to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance, every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falleth. According to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes, and thorns in your sides, and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them.